This is the rear bumper on my 2001 Chevy Tahoe. This piece of plastic has really gotten faded. It's gray, it's not black anymore. What I'm going to do is clean this up and put a coat of paint on it. First off, I'm just going to take a wet rag and clean everything up as much as I can. Just going to kind of get the dirt off and junk. Yeah, this is stained by rust from the bumper. And I'm going to swipe and dry this all. There's a bit of a gash or cut right here, and there's a piece of plastic kind of flopping around. I like to remove those. It doesn't totally remove that blemish, but it cleans it up a bit. I'm just, oops. I'm just making another one. <laughs> um, plastic is pretty soft, but it's clean enough that stuff that's hanging off. And it just looks better. It won't catch on stuff like on the uh, rag when I'm washing it. Cleaning that off. Just, uh, this looks better. There's an end up one right here. Eh, much better. And I'll go over all of these and clean them up. I have some dish soap in the sprayer bottle and I'm going to spray this off. And then uh, wipe it with a clean paper towel. Then as clean as I can get it. All the dirt and grease and grimy stuff. Oh, dirty. And I'll go over that whole thing and let it dry really well. And that soapy water is dry. Now I'm going to go over with some 91% uh, isopropyl alcohol. Put some on a clean paper towel. And just wipe over. I'm going to try not to touch where I've cleaned. Oh. No, oh, that taking off some some of that surface. And I'll go over the whole thing. I'm using uh, Dupacolor trim and bumper paint. And I'm going to spray a little bit on this back side just to make sure there's no reaction. It doesn't melt the plastic. Just better safe than sorry. And I'll put a link in the description below of all the tools and products that I've used. And I'll let that dry. Yeah, it's been about 20 minutes and it didn't eat the plastic and uh, it's already dry. So I'm going to spray the good side. Oh, I've read and I'm following all the directions on the can. I need to shake this up. And the can recommends two to three light coats instead of one heavy coat. Uh, if, I put, if I put a heavy coat on, chances it could run. So I'm just going to put probably three light coats on. And I'll let it dry for uh, I think it's 10 minutes between coats. And yeah, it's 10 minutes between coats. It's been 10 minutes. I want to try and do as long a strokes as I possibly can here. And I'll let that dry for 10 minutes. And it's been 10 minutes, so I'm going to put the final coat on here.
and I'll let that dry. I have let this dry overnight and oh it looks great. It looks brand new. Before. Before. An amazing product that um, Dupacolor and I'll put a link in the description below of all the products and tools that I use, but be sure and check out my other videos.